YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Thanks for watching my channel and tuning, tuning in. I got another housing crisis video I want to share with you guys. Holy smokes. Uh, it's, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's the last week of summer. It's uh, Labor Day weekend. I'm baking here. It's so hot. It's like 36 today in Merritt. It's always sunny here, which is which I love. Now, being on the coast, it's always dreary. Reminds me of Gotham City. Anyways, so something really, really... Um, bad is happening it's 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 i don't even know how to put words on it but a lot of people are taking equity using their equity to pay their bills i was i read several articles the last couple of days that canadians are taking any equity in their homes and using it and uh it, it's 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 scary because if the price of homes start to dip even faster you're going to be underwater and you can't walk away from those mortgages because a lot of people are making it seem like oh you know it's an equity loan oh it's a line of credit no it's a second mortgage it's tied to your home just like the first one and a lot of people get this misconception or it gets reworded reworded by the lenders so it doesn't sound too bad no you have a second mortgage and all your unsecured debt, you might as well call it a third mortgage because a lot of people don't realize that the unsecured, if you have unsecured debt and you are a homeowner, you can get sued to get the money back. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people are borrowing because I read an article the other day. I read several articles in the last week or two say, stating that Canadians are really good at paying their bills. They're all up to date. But right now, they're at the highest record of borrowing their loan to value, uh, going at the max loan to value they can. In some places, offering five percent over loan to value. You know, I, I even remember when England. This was a year and a half ago. I made a video about it and left a link for an article where England was offering a hundred, hundred and ten percent loan to value. It's crazy. Now. Yeah, sure, Canadians are paying their bills, especially the homeowners with secured debt. But what are they doing? They're tapping into their home equity and it's turning into a problem. They're buying fancy SUVs, cars, they're buying wardrobes of clothing, taking cruises and vacations. But you know what? People have to take a step back and start realizing that it's not free. And the housing the housing ride, the roller coaster, it's gonna be coming down soon. It's been going up. It's been going up that up that little up that mountain. It's gonna to have to come down. And a lot of people are, you know, trashing me on my videos or, or giving me a hard time because I can't read and uh telling me basically that, you know, uh housing is just gonna go up. I don't know if you guys remember that Russian guy that kept haggling me for the last year and a half be saying yeah man i'm on i'm on cloud nine i got three condos now i took the equity out of one bought another one took the equity out of second bought a third one yeah i'm a big big investor like this guy's talking to me like he invented uh real estate investment you know what i'm talking about anyways so things are looking grim in toronto housing is plummeting uh detached market is starting to crack vancouver everything's stagnant kind of plateauing and for the people in Vancouver who think, hey, it's just going to stay where it's at, they're wrong. There's going to be have to be some sort of correctness because the amount of Canadian proper that's leaving Vancouver is phenomenal. My entire street is all people that used to live on the coast except one guy that moved from Kamloops. But everybody here it came from the coast in the last three years. They just can't afford to live on the coast anymore. And... And not because they don't want to live that kind of lifestyle. It's it, it's it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm putting this out there because I want you guys to know. You know, it's important to know. It's important to be, like, informed about some of these things. You know what I'm saying? Stop taking money in the equity in your home. If you have some equity right now, and if you think you can get ahead and you want to sell, sell now while you're ahead. At least you're free. Right now, a lot of people are underwater. 
and if they keep taking that if they keep going against their property taking their loan to value it's a second mortgage not home line of credit yeah second mortgage stop changing what it really is and making it and massaging the term to make it seem like it's not as bad as it seems anyways i just hope people wake up uh, i hope people that are in this predicament right now or in this uh problem right now they could get it solved because it doesn't look good guys it doesn't look good for a lot of people that bought in worried that we're going to be bought out of the market now everything's a standstill out east central canada is devaluating as usual and Western Canada is stagnant right now as we speak. Seattle, stagnating. Uh, King County, all those places in Tacoma and stuff, stagnating. Oregon, stagnating. California, still going up a bit right now from what I see. London, mass exodus. All the, all the youth is leaving London. They're like, screw you. We don't have to live in London. Everyone's moving 40 minutes to an hour and a half away from London and starting their, their lives out there. Uh, Australia, Melbourne, and Sydney, man, everything's just upside down there. I hope politicians in in in, in Australia could uh, they could they could vote everybody out and put in politicians. Uh, if you want to be a politician in Australia, all you have to do is make the housing platform your primary thing, and start putting in laws like Toronto did in Vancouver to start fixing and correcting. Uh, Australia, because Australia is being Australia. All the all the English speaking countries are basically being sold out to the highest bidder, and that's just how it is. And it shouldn't be like that, because you want to go to to some of the countries that are buying us out and do what they are doing, they'll kill you. It's plain and simple. But we got to be liberal. What are you What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? That's how it is, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think on my take on this. Comment below. Thanks for watching. And don't take the loan to value. Don't take everything out of you. Just trust me on this one. Have a good one.